You're watching RVT Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide. Up next on RVT, Rashid's Video Tube, it's the Rashid and Jan Show. Following that is Rashid Cyber 2. It's that season of all seasons once again. And as Shison lingers on, let us share and care and enjoy amazing Rashid entertainment that's found only here. On RVT, where it's Rashid all the time. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletoon Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT. Hello everybody, this is Rashid. And I want to personally thank you so much for so many YouTube subscribers. And together with the millions of views on my Google page, I think it's safe to say we're well on our way, huh guys? Thanks for making RVT so successful. So I tell you what, you keep doing what you do, and we'll do the same round here. Deal? Deal. So relax. This is RVT, Rashid's video too. Where's Rashid all the time? Oh, what an atmosphere. RVT want to wish you a very happy shyston season.
This RVT Rashid's video 2 broadcasting is brought to you partly by the Rashid and Jan show and by delicious refreshing strawberry milk. Drink an explosion of strawberry flavor in every drop. So like Rashid and Jan say, drink up. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT. RBT want to wish you a very happy shyston season. Stop being so stressed out. Enjoy life. Really enjoy it. Just relax and take your time. Let the drama stay in entertainment. In other words, buckle up. We made history. All day long the bunnies worked, they got so very tired So when they got home they needed a boost Rashi's chocolate cider All day long the days were rough, it was no happy choir So when they got home they needed a boost Rashi's chocolate cider Well, not cider, but just hot chocolate Deep, rich hot chocolate either plain or with marshmallows an internet's best friend and with three grams of fat and six grams of protein why wouldn't you go for it all year round is groovy you said it Culper. the marshmallows melt to a thick motherly malt as it oozes down your throat you probably wouldn't stand for just one cup and your imagination mm, just might get the best of you if you know what i mean all day long the bunnies work, they got so very tired. So when they got home they needed a boost, Rashi's chocolate cider. All day long the days were rough, it was no happy choir. So when they got home they needed a boost, Rashi's chocolate cider. So let your imagination run wild all, all year round. Available at your nearest grocers or go online. Isabella, Rashid's startling adventurous computer novel created and written by Rashid. A Rashid Greek mythology story narrated by Rashid himself. Now streaming on RVT Rashid's video tube. Come follow along today. You're watching RVT, an international broadcasting station. Look on your social devices. It's a bird. It's a plane. 
No, it's my cheese mansion's mouse. And I want to help you guys get a good night's rest. Take a look. Urgh, my back. Oh, oh. Why should you guys suffer with stiff back, achy joints, and so on from a worn out mattress? There are hundreds of affordable mattress dealers in your area. And all is needed is you. Reliable mattresses that fit your comfort level. Spring design style, chic and firm. Thank you, Rashi Mattress Mouse. Anytime, an RVT ad is worth two and a whole. And speaking of ads, don't forget about this one. And size your bedding up for comfort. A new mattress and a good night's rest awaits you. Just go to www.mattress.com. That's www.mattress.com. Uh, anyway! Hey, having spaghetti tonight? A whole lot of vegetables. Sauce just the way you like it. It's the thickest, heartiest sauce ever. Made with a whole lot of plump, juicy tomatoes. Special seasonings and spices. With that zesty, full-body tomato taste. Now you're eating spaghetti. So serve up some Italiano at its best. Now at your local market. Or go online at www.italiancooking.org. That's www.italiancooking.org. This is a story about how much you like Play-Doh. It is. And they don't like it, that the fact that Rashid thinks like a child. They don't like that. They're saying, when you get older, Think like an adult. Yeah, we don't want to. It's boring. White people talking in microphones all the damn time. We ain't going for that. It's boring. Don't care about white and Jews talking in microphones. Don't give a fuck about Pointy beard motherfuckers telling me people not to like me because I ain't their faith. I don't give a fuck about that. I don't care about nothing because that's the social media. People like me <coughs> can. <coughs> People like me, people like us, can get even. Because YouTube workers and Google Plus workers, they, and so they geniuses. No, they're not. They are. Because they came up with this, and they know how to run it. Y'all don't. So, the people that work in social media, Twitter, Facebook, whoever, they geniuses. Y'all not. And deal with it. Stop hating. And that was... That was us in school. That was us after school. That was a, that's us in the tub. That was us in the tub. And that's us now. Surrounded by all these hating ass people on social media. You can't do shit. You can't do nothing. But talk. So. Stop hating. Grow up. 
<laughs> and I'm laughing. We laughing. We just laughing, dude. Play though is the best thing you can do with your kids because it helps expand their creativity and it helps you grow. And keep smiling. Keep smiling and stop hating. They gonna keep smiling. That's right. <coughs> they gonna keep smiling. <coughs> they gonna keep smiling. We are, and all them guys out there, you trying to make me look stupid. Well, how I got a question for you. How come it ain't working? Well, I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say it like that. But all everybody out there who's trying to make me look bad, ask me a question. How come it ain't working? Why it ain't working? <laughs> <laughs> Case in point, what this is all about is <laughs> spend time with your kids. You like to do, and don't forget about your childhood. Please don't, because <coughs> that's memories. And like Play-Doh, because I played with my kids, and I played them when I was little, no matter what they did, I always would like play -Doh. I always would like I always would. I swear to big Christ. And pointy beard people telling they people not to like me, I don't give a fuck about them. I don't care. I ain't got a pointy beard. I don't need a pointy beard. I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> so, case in point, like Play-Doh, because it helps you grow in maturity. It helps you be a man when you grow up. You be a man, a real man. <laughs> Not when I was a child. When I was a child, you know, it was a different story. I never did believe in child psychology. You said it, Pokey. You said it. <laughs> I like y'all liking me, though. I like that. Never had nobody. I have never had. I never had it, but. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. What's this time? You say something. You want to see these things. Don't give up your childhood because there ain't nothing left when you do. Okay? Finish listening to people talking microphones and hope for the best for the future. <laughs> <laughs> Rashid's teller to worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT.
RVT want to wish you a very happy shyston season. The following program is rated XXR by the Rashid Entertainment RVT Committee, coinciding with the United States, UK, and National Entertainment Community Association. Watch with caution. May contain dry speech and adult situations. And now, enjoy the show. Welcome everybody to Rashid's Cheese. Biscuits and gravy on RVT like you video too. And <laughs> like that announcer, that crazy announcer said, Welcome to this new show, guys. This is my very first show of Rashid Cheese, Biscuits, and Gravy. And I'm glad you guys are here because we are going to be discussing what we all want to be discussing, especially. If we don't have nobody to talk to the, the the situation with because I don't know because some other uh, reason some other fashion is reason that we can't talk to but we always watching these movies on Hallmark and Element and Lifetime well here we're gonna be talking about some okay so what I want you to do sit back relax we have a nice time this is my very first show we're very excited by be sweet so you just, you, everybody just be cool everybody sit back and relax because we're gonna talk about some Lifetime movies, right? And we're gonna be reviewing some, and I'm gonna tell you which ones that I mean. It's like I mean, I mean, it's just a crazy world, man. It's just a, it's a really, really crazy world. And I have some friends is gonna be coming over. that's gonna be on this show helping me. So I'm glad you guys are here to see them. Yes, I'm preferring to you. Wow, it's good to be here, Rashi. To talk about lifetime, you know, first of all, what the hell are you? I don't even know what the hell you are. Well, I'm a garbage bag. A garbage, yeah. Wow, garbage. I've never seen a garbage. What do you do now? Tell me about these lifetime movies. Well, well, the thing about it is, we never have lifetime movies on RBT. Yeah. So, so this is our first time. Anybody out there ever saw a garbage bag? Okay, these people here are YouTube YouTubers, uh, social media, right? Yeah, social media, exactly. Well, these social media people gotta learn what a garbage bag is. And around here, we specialize on them. So when we gonna get the movie started? Uh, it's not a movie we're watching. Uh, we gonna just be reviewing and talking about some. Uh, what's that? That's your background, right there. I'm talking about this thing. Oh, that's. Baby, can you come here for a second? I'm talking about this. Can you come here for a second? You always fucking things up. Baby, can you come here for a second? My premiere, and you're fucking up with cum stains and you're fucking. What the fuck is wrong with you? Look at the fucking sheet. Didn't I ask you to wash the sheet? 
Can we cut? Why well, gotta be standing in front of your nut? Can we get, what the fuck is going on here? Can we wash the fucking sheets, damn it? Anyway guys, we're gonna be talking about a lot of things on this show. We're gonna be talking about a lot of things. One of the things we're gonna be talking about is like I said, Lifetime Movies. Now, we're going to be discussing this particular movie right here. Now, cut the shit, all right? We're going to be talking about... We're going to be talking about a girl from Land Limber Law. And I've seen this, me, yeah, we've seen this video on the thing. A girl from Limbaloff, yeah. We've seen this on a girl from Limbaloff. A girl from Limbaloff. A girl from Limbaloff. Of all the fucking movies to be a girl from Limbaloff. It's a white girl. It doesn't matter if she's a fucking white girl, dude. A girl from Limbaugh. Now she don't understand you sometimes. A girl from Limbaugh. You a trash bag. What the fuck you? Hey. Who the fuck is that? Hey, what's going on down there? Are you talking about a girl from Limbaugh? Yeah, we're going to be discussing. Who the hell is that? Are you talking about a girl from Limberlaws? Yeah, we're going to be discussing a girl from Limberlaws. Well, I got something to say about that. Who the fuck is that? Who the hell is that? I don't know. It's me. Oh, it's a white man. No, that's movie phone. It's me. Remember me a long time ago on movie phone. You know, they, they forgot all about it. I don't give a fuck about that. What about this girl from Limber Laws? Are you a white person? What they got to do? What the fuck I got to do? Because you're interviewing Lifetime movies. It, it, it's, other, it's other races. It doesn't matter. You're talking about a Glimmer Laws girl. <sighs> what the hell is wrong? What, the, what difference does it make if I'm talking about a Limber Because you're talking about a Limber Laws girl. I movie phone. There's no more movie phone. They got rid of you. There's no more movie phone. The hell they did. So a guy named Jack wake up in the morning. What? Why is he talking? I don't know. A guy named Jack wake up in the morning. He sees nothing going outside. But long as the world is white, he doesn't care. Okay. What that fuck? Man? I don't know. Let him finish. Jack gets in his car and he goes downtown. He picks a town to go to. As long as it's white, it doesn't matter. He goes up to the counter and they, okay, all right, you know what? You know what? Just let me interview. Let, let me, let me, let me, um, do this, do this fucking thing. First of all, movie phone. What is it? Is that a trash bag? Yes, it's a trash bag with cum on the sheets in the background. Cum. Rashid, why didn't you clean the sheets? Well, my baby is supposed to. It's a good cum. Let me smell. Don't, don't, don't do it. Why not? I'm kinky like that. Get the fuck out of here. Don't, don't, don't. I'm gonna sue. Go. A A L M A A A. Nothing to give you a pickle that tastes
Look, it's a guy named Jack who goes downtown. He looks around for a town. We'll make sure it's brown. He goes up to the cow. Okay, all right, I'll let you tell your story, but we're reviewing Limberlord. We're reviewing a girl from Limberlord. What the fuck you doing? It's a Limberlord's white people. That's what they do in LMN and, and Lifetime Movement, you know. What do they do? I'm showing you. Oh, okay, enough of they don't do all it. Oh, yes, they do! Yes, they do! Yes, they do! What's he talking about? Not all white people doing it. Yes, they do! How you gonna tell me? Yes, they do! Okay, can you stop? Can you stop? I, I, I don't wanna stop. It's Lifetime Movies. It's Lifetime Movies! And this is the girl from Limbo Lost. And this is Come. Okay, all right, all right. We're gonna interview the. We're gonna we're gonna be discussing the girl from Limbo. What the fuck? We're gonna be discussing the girl from Limbo Laws, and you guys stay tuned. We'll be right back. You're watching RVT Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide. Time alert. Time alert. Time alert. Time alert. Rashid's content will not be televised. I repeat. I repeat. Rashid's content will not be televised. Welcome to Rashid's Cyber World. It's a real struggle on the internet and here at RBC we have the proof to be in a Rashid struggle one must profit to the extreme and on RBT Rashid cyber 2 we plan to deliver just that with nail body shows not found anywhere on social media mainstream or socializing fermentation. Bone breaking, laser shooting, mystic gazing, high speed driven Rashid content only found on Rashid Cyber 2 on the Rashid and Annette show. And please be warned. Please be warned. Excuse me, sir. But I am Captain Rashid of the Rashid Aqualine Federation. And I really want to talk to who's in charge here. So take it somewhere else. This is not mainstream. Shock? Good. Rashid Cyber Team. Now streaming on RBT. Game over. Why is delicious hot oatmeal so good for so many families? Oatmeal is rich in protein. A breakfast with delicious oatmeal with milk and sugar for a family of four provides as much total protein as six average eggs. As much total protein as 18 pieces of toast. And almost as total protein as 18 strips of bacon. That's why your family get that wonderful stick to the ribs feeling with hot oatmeal. That wonderful feeling of well-being with only one minute of actual cooking time. 
So be sure your family get the protein they need with the delicious hot breakfast of hot oatmeal. Just go over to www.oatmeal.org. That's www.oatmeal.org. You're watching RVT, an international broadcasting station. Cyber tube. Looking for fun on social media? I'm trying to figure you out, kid. Looking for strange entertainment on social media? Don't tell me to shut up. You shut up. If not, then don't look here. And remember, here is here, which means lost. Three strangers lost and looking for a way back home. So see, they're lost and you found them here on RBT. Lost and found, lost and found. Now streaming on a cyber tube. Get hooked. Isabella, Rashid's startling adventurous computer novel created and written by Rashid. A Rashid Greek mythology story narrated by Rashid himself. Now streaming on RVT Rashid's video tube. Come follow along today. Captain Ashi, our fourth field is back up, but the turbulent is a problem. I hatched the mainframe, but altitude is at critical level. I'll go deeper, Captain. Lieutenant Kwan, keep a steady pull and rise up on the curves and balance it. But whatever you do, don't pull left. Follow the stream flow. And don't worry, Kwan, the R Triton got through way worse than this. Much worse. Hey everybody, Rashid's my name and the game is the game! Hey, what you trying to do, cheat me? STOP THAT GUY! Mm -hmm. Oh, not your average pseudo-comic underground adventure. 
don't need to step on anybody's toes, my lady. There is no reason. Oh shit! Depression is postmodal in another land. Journey into a depressing world. Generation of repentance. Now streaming on my cheese cybertruck. Get home. You're watching RVT Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide. Thank you, and welcome back to the show, everybody. Welcome back. Because things are getting really crazy around here. Anyway, the show starts out Lambert Law. It started out, it started out Lambert Law Swamp, you know, Lambert Law Swamp, in the end, Indiana, 1908. Is that true? Is it a true story? I, I don't know. It might be. It, no, no, it's just, it, it was taken from a novel. Actually, I got the notes right here. It, it stars Joanna Cassidy. <laughs> Heather Fairfield, I don't care about that. Annette O'Toole, and it was written by Ke uh, Pamela Douglas. I never heard of a. Pa it was based on a book by uh, uh, Gene Stratton. Gene Stratton. Yeah, Gene Stratton Porter, and directed by Bert Brinkerhoff. Brinkerhoff? That's not American. It was Brinkerhoff who directed. So it was a guy named Bob who woke up and saw in cell. Oh, here we go. Here we go again. It was a Bob. It was a. It was a guy named Bob who woke up in cell. He got in his car to go downtown. He didn't think about running a green, red, or yellow light. Just picked up a towel and made sure it's white. Okay. All right. All right. Now. That's what it's called, the, the, the girl at eh, quiet, quiet. You may think drinking makes you sophisticated. Uh, a sparkling conversationalist. Uh, the guy, the guy is great. He's the greatest freaking guy in the world. <laughs> you may even think that drinking makes you popular. Hey, watch it, boy. Why don't you watch it? <laughs> but drinking makes you something else all the time. Why get drunk and make an ass of yourself? Telling me to be quiet and there's a trash bag in front of you. That's right, I'm a trash bag. Lender Law, come. Lender Law, come. Sound like some kind of secret society. No, no, it's not a secret society. This, this here, this here thing, a uh, 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 movie is, is a very good movie. Well, look, she started off uh, a very, it's a very beautiful, touching movie. She like she talks to animals and she talks to. Like like different uh, creatures in a forest, and this land below forest. She talks to them, communicate, and the movie is about that. They they work on a farm. Oh, it's a farm movie. White people on a farm. <laughs> Basic. Typical. No, no, typical. No, not really. It's not. It is typical. Am I adjusted right here? Let me see. Gotta get close up. Wardrobe. Ain't a wardrobe. The fuck in it. Now look. Not typical. What's typical? Farm. Oh, every day. Oh, every day farm. I'm gonna. I tell you what I'm gonna do. You tell the story, yeah, and I act it out. How about that? Bullshit. No, no bullshit. Uh, where you at? 
I'm over here. I movie phone. Shut up. Now you shut up, trash bag. <laughs> Typical. Now, let's say, oh, it's a beautiful day. Typical lifetime movie. Do what I say, do. I'm the man. Oh no, I'm the woman. Do what I say, do. Uh, uh. Typical lifetime bullshit. So, that's your lamb off. I don't give a fuck about it. The ignorant bastard. That's not the. I don't give a fuck about it. That's stupid stuff. But it ain't stupid shit. Typical bullshit. I'm not a racist. I'm a realist. That's what they said in 1936. It doesn't matter. And it still holds today for a trash bag. That's right. Look at you. You ain't been around since the 50s. What have you done for the race? I've done a lot. I taught how to be clean in schools. I taught how to be decent citizens. Did it work? Look outside. Did it work? Guys, guys, we got a movie to promote. Land of Law. Shit. Fuck a Land of Law. I'm going to fuck about it. He's just trash bag. He's just a trash bag. You're trash. Okay, all right. Anyway, guys, get around to seeing this because it's a beautiful story. Hello. Oh, look how beautiful it is. She's talking to butterflies. Fly away. Look at this. You ever heard anything? Think fly away. Only white people do. Only I just fly talking to butterflies. That's not so. I don't talk to butterflies. Oh, yes, you do. You talk to frogs when you was a kid. No, I didn't. We lived in Mount Vernon on an island, not far. Now, let me tell you my story. Watch your story. <sighs> guys, guys. Watch your story. The, uh, guys, go out and get this book right here because it looks like a good. It was by Gene Strait. No, I want wait, Rachi. Wait. What's your story? There's a guy named Bob who woke up in sound. But he gonna continue to do his shit, so just let him go. That's a bunch of bullshit. He got in his car to go downtown. He didn't think about running green or yellow light. Just picked up a town and made sure it's white. And a trash bag in it. That's a bunch of bullshit and a trash bag. Hefty, 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 motherfucker. Hefty! <laughs> Finish your lamb along faggot shit. Anyway, it ain't no faggot shit. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it. Don't, 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 don't do that. The light of my life, fire of my loins, my sin, my soul, a lolita, the tip of the tongue taking a trip of three steps down the palate to tap it three on the teeth. Lolita. You don't want to come on my goddamn so look at focus and look at that. I'm gonna say don't do it. Look at this motherfucker. Just don't do that. <laughs> look me scare Fred out of his pebbles. The owl Martians! <laughs> Delicious. Barney! Oops, the worst on post pebble cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. What's more fun than a Flintstone poster? What? A Flintstone poster? You color yourself. <laughs> There's a guy named Bob. Okay, so guys, get this um, Landeloff thing. And um, you guys really should enjoy it. It's a really good movie. Me and my kids liked it. We saw it before. We saw it before. And um, it was a really, you know, the kids made fun of her. You know, they made fun of her. And... The mother was, it, it's, it, the mother was telling her, they knew, she knew they was going to make fun of her. The mother knew that she needed money for books. They had no money for books in the farm. The farm had to be sold. And she still wanted to go to school above other things. She wanted to go to school. That's another thing. How, it explains to me something. What? I told you, if you want to go to school, you prove you can get your work done here. 
It will be done tomorrow before school, I promise. No. I lost your chance. When do kids like school? Only in those movies like that. Like I was watching uh, this uh, Holocaust movie, the Holocaust movie. Yeah, it was a Holocaust movie, and it was they was hiding out. I think it was Anne Frank, and she said, "Oh, we gonna go back to school." Kids don't like school. That's why they say that was a lie. <laughs> anyway, any, that's why they say that's okay. All right, all right. Anyway. <coughs> Whatever the hell that was. Now, uh, she wanted to go to school, and and the mother said we can't afford school because we work on the farm. So she had to go and uh, and, and um, she she met some woman. She had to go get a job. So she met some woman and catch bugs in the forest, and she paid the way. But the end of the movie was just crazy. We didn't get the end of the movie. It was just really really strange. The end of the movie. The whole movie was strange. These books for school got paid for. That's obvious, duh! You got a way, real way of looking at shit. Not necessarily. I'm political. You're a trash bag. And you're a stupid white 1950s motherfucker played out. I'll teach you played out. Go ahead. There once was a boy named... Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right now, check it out, guys. It's streaming now. If you guys like it, you like... There's no violence in it. It's just a very emotional movie. Okay, so maybe you guys can check it out and then uh, see what happens. And thanks for tuning in to Rashid's Cheese Biscuits and Gravy here on the RVT with Rashid all the time. Tune in next time for more or less. Take care. Hey everybody, Rashid's my name and the game is the game. Hey, what you trying to do, cheat me? Stop that guy! Ooh. Oh, not your average pseudo comic underground atmosphere. Don't need to step on anybody's toes, my lady. There is no reason. Oh, shit! Depression is postmodal in another land. Journey into a depressing world. Generation of repentance. Now streaming on Rashid's Cyber Show. Get home. Up next on RVT, Rashid's Video Tube. It's the Rashid and Jan Show. Following that is Rashid's Cyber Tube. It's that season of all seasons once again. And as Shison lingers on, let us share and care and enjoy amazing Rashid entertainment that's found only here on RVT, where it's Rashid all the time. <laughs>